Hello. About three months ago, I put a, a mix of chopped seaweed and leaves on top of one of my raised beds to overwinter. So the mix has been on the bed three winter months, starting to compost down. I don't think it's quite composted down yet, um, but we'll go and have a look at it. But in any case, I'm going to use that mixture, throw some early potatoes in. Um, later on in the year uh, and it'll probably still be a mixture of seaweed and leaves it won't be composted down it hasn't had long enough um, but I have done this before um, and there is a, a video on the channel somewhere if you, if you care to look for it it's probably titled something like grow potatoes uh, in seaweed and leaves um, it'll be there somewhere um, so if you want to have a look at that, you can see the results. Um, but that was a um, that was a, a, a last-minute thing that I did. I never planned to do that uh, because I normally mix the seaweed and leaves in with spent compost, soil from molehills, and use that as a mix. Uh, but I had some seaweed and leaves left over, so I decided to do an experiment. I only set two pots. Uh, one of the pots didn't do so well. But I think you'll be surprised by how well the other pot did um, if you care to go back and look at that video. So we'll go and have a look and see how this stuff's getting on. And then um, there's, something, there's something I want to, to um, show you. Um, as you know, I live fairly close to the, the sea and I'm often down on the seashore with Molly. And it's, it's amazing what you actually find while you're walking on the uh, seashore. Um, I have found a message in a bottle while walking on the seashore. I'm not too sure if I've included that anywhere in the video. If I haven't, it's something I might want to do. If you want me to do it, I'll do it. I'll tell you about that uh, message in a bottle. Um, but you also find things in rock pools that can be unexpected. Uh, a big fish, for example. Wow, that would make you jump if you found a big fish in a rock pool. Made me jump. Um, and also, you find dead birds, sea birds, don't you? It's just a part of life. But sometimes you find things that are dead on a beach that you don't actually expect to find. You know, it's it's it's, it's out of place. Um, and I've done that. So it's not unusual to find a dead seabird on the shoreline, but sometimes you get a surprise. Sometimes you'll find things dead on the shoreline that you wouldn't really expect to find. Strange circumstances. Anyway, uh, let's go down the garden. Uh, We'll have a look at this uh, seaweed and leaves mix, see how it's getting on. Um, and then I'll tell you about what I actually found uh, when I had a stroll on the beach with Molly. Come on, Bob.
leaves. Can you see the leaves? And some of the seaweed. It's certainly not compost yet. It's still seaweed and leaves. I need to be seaweed and leaves in a month's time when I plant some early potatoes in it. Okay. Okay, so you've seen the seaweed, uh, and I'll give you half a story. So I'm going to put couple of clips of film on the back end now that I think you might find interesting. Wow, that's a big fish. Blimey, such a small rock pearl. Did you fall for it? Did you think it was a big fish? It's a big piece of wood. It made me jump. <laughs> uh, yeah, it made me jump. Well, what have we got here? Dead seabird in this rock pearl. I think it could be a gannet, not too sure. Let me know if you think it is, if it isn't a gannet, I think it's a gannet. Well, what's that in the back of this rock pool? Have a look. What's that? Did you recognise it? It's a fox. Gannet and a fox in a rock pool. Both dead. Blimey. I wonder what the circumstances were. I'll never know. I want to use your imagination, but I can't figure it. Anyway, that certainly has uh, given me a shock. Right, I think what we'll do is we, we need some relaxed time. We'll, we'll watch the tide come in for a short while. Is your monitor waterproof? tides coming in fairly quickly could start dripping out of the bottom of your screen oh -ho. well I've warned you you need to put a towel under there you need to get a bucket right let's sit let's sit there a while let this tide come in
Okay, we've had enough of that. Um, I think we need a bit of, a bit of light relief from this, don't we? I think Molly fancies a swim. She's already been in, haven't you, sweetheart? Yeah, she's already been in, so we'll let Molly go for a swim. Come on. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this patched up video. Um, and this is Homegrown Veg, signing out.